In today's video, we will compare the alkaline electrolyzer and the PEM electrolyzer. We will assess their energy consumption when producing the same amount of hydrogen. Our test process is as follows. First, we allow both the alkaline and PEM electrolyzers to discharge a bottle of water with the same volume in the same time frame ensuring that their hydrogen production rates are the same. Because we're using a transformer with fixed current and voltage, we can measure their energy consumption accordingly. First, we conduct the test for the PEM electrolyzer. We fill up the bottle with water and check if the gas outlet pipeline is working correctly. Once everything is set, we start the timer. When bubbles start to form outside the bottle, we stop the timer. In this test, the PEM electrolyzer took 46.26 seconds to completely discharge the water from the bottle. Next, we conduct the test for the alkaline electrolyzer. We repeat the same steps, fill the bottle, check the gas outlet, and start the timer. When bubbles start to form outside the bottle, we stop the timer. In this test, the alkaline electrolyzer took 46.37 seconds to empty the bottle. Finally, we record the current, voltage and power of the PEM electrolyzer. The current is 20.87 amps, the voltage is 4.22 volts, and the power is 88.07 watts. The current of the alkaline electrolyzer is 12.02 amps, the voltage is 10.48 volts, and the power is 125 watts. Based on this data, we can conclude that when generating the same amount of hydrogen, the energy consumption of the PEM electrolyzer is lower, making it more energy efficient.